saying things people already know out loud is tight. About a cadaver. You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey! Truly delightful. Have we started already? What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI, Last of Us, Season 1, Episode 3, long, long time. This is an hour and 15 minute episode, it goes for a long, long time. Uh, what do we need in the Last of Us universe? We need a vaccine, we need to solve this whole zombie outbreak thing. We need Dr. Rumac. That's who we're talking about. Let's get Leslie Nielsen into The Last of Us. This is why I'm not in charge of TV shows, because uh, stuff like that would... And I know he's dead. I know he's dead, but uh, Leslie Nielsen is the man, and I would love to see him in any show. But, rest in peace, Leslie. But, we're now down to two. We've got Joel, we've got Ellie, and we've got ourselves a mission. We've got ourselves a destination, and we, we encountered our first clickers. I'm almost finished the game as well. I just got up to like the, uh, the the flooded tunnel where there was two bloaters. I had no weapons or I had like a couple of shotgun bullets, one explodey nail bomb thing and the various bricks and bottles that I could find around. I managed to sneak past. Didn't know I could even do that in that game. I can just not even kill the zombies and just stealth my way on through. But let's jump into this episode. Make sure you subscribe as well. We're almost at 10,000. Like, it snuck up on me. We're like 50 away, so subscribe. Help us out. Let's go. Is he making a crockenbush cake? Matt Preston doesn't like it. Crock and bush cake, crock and bush cake, they're really hard to make. Crock and bush cake. Well, here's where I'm a little confused. I, by your own admission, you said that nobody really calls them crock and bush cakes. Mm. So, yeah, so yeah, why, but... why are you... <laughs> well, because... Ooh, a little bit of tension, though. Let's let's halt the crock and bush cake song because Ellie feels guilty about Tess's death. Nobody made you or test take me. Nobody made you go along with this plan. You needed a truck battery or whatever, and you made a choice. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. Ooh, Ellie, you're quite mouthy, but you're also very true as well. Very true. I feel like they don't film many movies and TV shows out in real world environment. I guess they, they still do. How'd you get that scar on your head? What, is it something lame? Like you fell down the stairs or something? I didn't fall down any stairs. <laughs> okay, so what then? Someone shot at me and missed. See, that's cool. Shoot back? Yeah. You get him? No, I missed too. <laughs> Because you suck at shooting, or like in general? Hey, is that a reference to the game? Because I've been missing a lot of shots with my pistol in that game. Why do you have stuff stashed here? You asked a lot of goddamn questions. Yes, I do. <laughs> you ever play this one? Oh my god. I knew everything about this game. She's not going to play as Angel Knives, she's going to play as... Liu Kang? Trust me, it's all been picked over already. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Go have a look, Ellie. Do a little bit of looting. It's you. Ah, get in front Get in the crouch and just be like... Phew, 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 phew. Fuck. I cannot wait for the moment we see somebody crouch down with a whole bunch of loot in front of them and they're like... Phew, 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 phew. <laughs> hmm. Maybe go get the old man for this bit. Ellie, what are you doing? This is dumb, man. Well, there was a little bit of good thinking there, but whoa. Hey, what are you gonna do now? Oh shit. They're all connected and shit though, man. This ain't good. <laughs> Why are you why are you still down here? Jump on your bin. Get out. Man, that looked that one looks especially human, hey. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Really? <laughs> hey, Joel, what's going on when you can't hear the bratty child <laughs> making a bunch of fucking noise? <laughs> Ellie. Something bad is happening. There's not much ammo out there for this thing. Makes it mostly useless. Well, if you're just gonna leave it there. No. Hook her up, man. By the way, can we get a Walking Dead one with Lee and Clementine next? I would be totally down for that. If the Walking Dead name wasn't so sullied. So everything came crashing down in one day? Pretty much. How? I mean, no one's infected with cordyceps. Everybody's fine, eating in restaurants. Panic, man. Planes, and then all at once? Congestion and panic. Cordyceps mutated. Some of it got into the food supply. Probably a basic ingredient like flour or sugar. Wow. So there was no patient zero. It was anybody who ate the flour from Jakarta. Cereal. Pancake mix. Oh. Friday night, September 26, 2003. By Monday, everything was gone. Yeah. Sarah was gone. Not everything. Just one thing. Yeah, it's just... There's stuff up there you shouldn't see. Oh, no, I have to see. <laughs> but, like, this is... Regular life for her at the moment. Like, since she was born. She's a post-outbreak uh, baby, isn't she? I told you you were going to a QZ, and you were. If there was room. If there wasn't. Wow. They just left him there. Dead people can't be infected. Don't worry, Ellie. You're you are alive though. You're not dead. <laughs> oh, we're going back. So this is a what? A, like a week later? I might have to check my numbers on this, but I would believe that Goldberg was the world heavyweight champion and Brock Lesnar was the WWE champion at the time of the outbreak. <laughs> Who's here? Your new world order, Jack Boot Fox. Oh shit! This is um, ah, uh, Bill. Is it Bill? It's Ron Swanson. I know that much. Oh. Oh, he's like this, is he? Okay. Acid. So is he just like a gun enthusiast, or is he a full-blown foiler? You've been waiting for this, have you, Bill? <laughs> Fill him up. Damn, he is organized. Why do I feel like Nick Offerman was just loving playing this part right now? <laughs> he is... Because he loves this shit in real life. <laughs> Did he just say, follow me around for a day? <laughs> you'll get all the Bill apocalypse footage you'll need? It is such a wasteful way <laughs> to prepare food. <laughs> you earned it though, Bill. You earned it. God, I hope his name is Bill. Keep coming. Glad you've got your entertainment over dinner, Bill. Oh, seven, we're in now. Okay. Did he bring a gate to his house? Is that what I just saw there, by the way? <laughs> ah. Are you about to meet somebody? I'm not infected. By the name of Frank, by any chance? getting a little bit bored are you bill and you're also presumably a decent human being i don't know yet 
You're just, you're very capable. I know that much. That's a handy little thing to have there, Bill. Haven't eaten in two days. I got a spare filet mignon. <laughs> I'm gonna show up here looking for a free lunch. And this is not an Arby's. <laughs> well, Arby's didn't have free lunch. It was a restaurant. <laughs> this guy must be like, holy shit. I have a house, running water, heat, gas, filet mignon, dear filet mignon, I'm sure. I left some clothes here for you. What? He likes him. He likes him a lot. For all purposes though, this should be so many red flags. Although, I mean, uh, every other movie I've seen when you find a place with running water and, you know, cutlery and wine glasses in the apocalypse, it usually means something terrible is about to go down. <laughs> he sees the finger wipe. <laughs> guy's like, what the fuck is this? This is amazing! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> a man who knows to pair rabbit with a Beaujolais. I know, I don't seem like the type. <laughs> now you do. Oh. Bill, you are bringing this man a lot of joy. In a very desperate time of need. So I guess I'll be going then. No, you're not going anywhere, Frank. Make yourself comfortable. 1948. Wow. You know how much these are worth? Currently nothing. <laughs> the best of Linda Ronstadt? <laughs> what do we got? Oh. Well, I'm not a professional. Well, neither am I, but... Really? Nick Offerman in this role is something else, man. He's really, really transformed himself. Like, even his body language is so different. For a long, long time. Wow, look at you, Bill. You music genius. Like Elton John. There is no girl. I know. Mm-hmm. I know as well, Bill. This has been a very, very sweet scene, by the way. I'm not gonna lie, I still... Don't feel that comfortable watching two guys kiss. You know what? Do your thing. Have at it. But. If I'm being just completely flat out honest. There's something about it that still makes me go. <laughs> What's your name? Bill. Oh, thank Christ. Thank Christ. That's Bill. 30 minutes into this episode. And I've called him Bill about 900 times already. Can you imagine being in that position, like, you're a gay person in the apocalypse, and then you actually meet an eligible, decent person that you've got a lot in common with. Thank you for cutting away. I don't need to know what Nick Offerman's penis looks like. I'm sure it has a moustache. <laughs> and, and sideburns. With a girl a long time ago. Yeah, but so. I'm gonna start with the simple things. <laughs> Frank has been around the circuit a few times, has he? I don't have sex for lunches. Not even great ones. <laughs> it was a pretty great lunch though. I mean, zombie apocalypse, five star meal. Fuck you! Come on! Hey! Would you stop? Do I ask for things? Ever? Whoa. 
I, why am I even saying that? This isn't for me. This is this is for us. Who cares what they look like? What I do. Our home isn't just our house, it's everything around us! Give me a fucking break. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I live in this world. You live in a psycho bunker where 9-11 was an inside job. He is a foiler. All Nazis. The government are all Nazis! Well, yeah, now, but not then. <laughs> That's a good line. This is my street, too. Just, just let me love it the way I want to. Oh, okay. So he wants to like some maintain some of the stuff and oh, make it look more like a, a, a town to live in. But we are going to have friends. <sighs> I don't think friends exists anymore, Frank. We're going to make friends and we will invite them to visit. The fuck you will. There are no friends to be had. I've actually been talking to a nice woman on the radio. Who are you talking to on the radio? Tess, I want to show you something. Actually, no. I have been wanting to see it. Not inside. Thank you. Yes. Frank! <laughs> Frank! Songs. <laughs> if mine brought strangers into our situation, I wouldn't be happy either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what, you were, uh... Prepper or something? Survivalist. <laughs> Foiler is the word you're looking for. We're self-sufficient here. When, well, yeah, and the foilers will live on in the apocalypse. I mean, it's not a gift. You come back, we'll trade. All right. No, what is this? There'll be raiders. And they'll beat that fence and your tripwires. They'll come at night, quiet and armed. I think Bill's prepared for this. We'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> this is ten years into the apocalypse. Oh. Pick it up. Oh my god, they were together for that long? And what, we've been six years, I guess? Not that. Huh? And shouldn't he be in way better condition, living like clean doing all this physical activity, out and about, chopping wood and whatnot, building fences, stacking cars. <laughs> These two guys, just two happy gay forest men with <laughs> beards enjoying their strawberry. Why is that just such an amazing visual? All means we're still here. Oh, man, this is rough. <laughs> I know... I know of Frank. We'll just say that. And the game doesn't explicitly tell you what happened to Frank. You have to go exploring and find it. And it's... It's a grisly sight. Fuck. Bill! Oh, he's already out there. Yeah, he doesn't sleep much, does he? Yeah. Hey, well, how do you not have like a little crow's nest on the roof or something you can get up to and like get a protected vantage point? You're gonna make it, Bill. You're gonna make it. You good? You good there, man? Bill? Oh my god, the thing said Bill as well with a question mark. Bill, are you good? He's good. Bill lives. Oh, shit. Oh, has he got cancer or something? Did he end up fixing up the rest of the town? Wow, he's a good artist. Oh, I know exactly who that is. That's Bill. Wow. Can't even eat solids. Oh yeah, he's really fucked up. Bowel cancer or something. Big roundy. Oh, this is brutal, man. This is not how the things went in the game, that's for sure. Or is this why what happens in the game happened? Because you knew he was sick. 
And that's the end of Frank. Oh, no, he's alive. This is my last day. He feels it coming. Oh, no, he's not going to ask him to put him down, is he? Oh, man, this is fucking brutal. Just give me one more good day. Starting now, make me some toast. <laughs> then take me to the boutique. Oh, my God. That's why he wanted to do all of that. Just so he could... We'll get married. ...live one more time. Oh, my God. He wants to get married? Holy shit. Why you do that already? Pretty much are. He loved you from the moment you got into his shower. Uh, judging by the way he's sitting, I think he's got bowel cancer. He was having solid, he wasn't uh, eating solids, he was only on soup and like liquid. I had a granddad who had bowel cancer and I remember those days. I'm not going to ask where we got the rings from, lads. <laughs> what, what corpse did you pry these wedding bands off of? I'm sorry, this is a sweet moment. He's going to make him the same meal that he made him on the first day they met. <laughs> He's still got that same awkward <laughs> as he comes through the door. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, fix the plate up. Of course, he can't even eat the food. Oh, he ate it anyway. <laughs> Bows be damned. Good work. You earned that. I'm old. I'm satisfied. And you were my purpose. Wait, is Bill trying to take him take himself out as well? Oh, I should be furious. Is he joking? <sighs> Rest in peace, Frank. I don't know what's worse. What happens to him in the show or what happens to him in the game? Damn. His death is a Nexus event. There's no change in it. No matter what happens. When was the last time Bill saw Joel, though? Not a good sign that the flowers are dead. Still got that unfinished painting. That painting looks great unfinished, though, I must say. You hear anything, you see anything. Yell. <laughs> Throw your sandwich. <laughs> Oh, wait, he said Frank. He doesn't know. Oh. oh, fuck. So wait, Bill did put it in the bottle? I don't, I, didn't, I don't think I said it out loud, but I was thinking like, oh, is he just saying this to be romantic to Frank as he's passing away? Take me to bed, so they'd both just be in there. Corpses. It's from Bill. Oh, that sucks. To whomever, but probably Joel. <laughs> I'm guessing you found this, Joel. Because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> <laughs> Was wrong because there was one person worth saving that's what i did what a poignant note to leave there bill i leave you all of my weapons and equipment use them to keep that would have been handy in the game uh use them to keep tess safe maybe ah shit too soon. We got the the big SUV ute with the uh, 
barrels of fuel in the back. That'll be pretty pretty handy. Oh, he keeps that thing clean. Does he not have a battery? <laughs> Oh, yes! So what now? We grab what we can. <laughs> Dude. No. Oh, so many guns. There's a wall of them. <laughs> Let her just take one. Just one of the big ones. They have hot water! I'm taking a shower. And then you're showering. Yeah, good idea, everyone. Why not just wait here and like let your bodies recover, let your broken hand fix itself? Ellie, you be stealing. That's Frank's gun, I'm pretty sure. Actually, do be stealing. You need a gun. It's your first time in a car. It's like a spaceship. <laughs> Seatbelt. Strap in, Ellie. It's time for blast off. Oh man. Uh. <laughs> I didn't know we we're gonna get a Bill episode. That was really interesting. That was like a, a that bridged the gap between like 2003 and 2023, and how Bill managed to survive. That was crazy interesting. Just watching him create all this stuff to keep himself alive and just being completely prepared for it like it's i i kind of dig that but yeah he was a doomsday prepper and then doomsday happened and he was ready to go <laughs> i think that's a great way to tell that story and nick offerman was like a different person in this whole thing like this story was just unreal and yeah for those that have played the game uh, you you hear about frank um, very, very vaguely, they kind of suggest that maybe he and Bill were like, you know, lovers or husbands or whatever, <laughs> whatever word I was supposed to use. And you hear that they had like a big argument. By the way, spoil. By the way, spoilers for the first game. You hear that they had a big argument, and uh, you end up finding Frank uh, hanging from the ceiling in a uh, one of the houses in Bill's town with a, a note there that like it just says like, Bill, you're so stubborn, blah blah blah, but I love you, this and that, and. Like, I, they, they brought elements of that in. There was still that note left by Bill. Like, there was still the conscious decision to do it. I, I can't believe he did it. I, I thought there was going to be some sort of twist and Bill was going to, like, jump out the, um, uh, you know, jump out of the, the woods or something and grab Joel at some point later in the series. But nah, man, that was his whole story front to back, which is uh, an interesting way to tell that and uh, flesh out the whole apocalypse world and how... Although Bill's story is not exactly how things happened, but, you know, it kind of gives us a little bit of context for, um, you know, just how dire things actually got. Uh, Frank was a very, very interesting character, a very endearing character. Both of them were. Like, the scenes where they were having these romantic moments were, like, genuinely touching. So, very different kind of episode. I think we got just enough Ellie and Joel in this one as well. Ellie at the beginning, when she jumped down in that, like, hole in the ground, like, that was dumb. That was really dumb of her to do. And I don't know, I feel like she should be a little bit more responsible. She's got the, you know, she's got bitten. She hasn't turned. Something, the fireflies need her. Why are you jumping down into random holes in the ground, Ellie? Like, and, and I guess at the same time, Joel is freezing her out and she's a teenager. Maybe that's the answer to the question. But let me know what you thought about this one down in the comments. Let me know if you're enjoying The Last of Us. I have started watching The Mandalorian Season 2, so if you want to check out my reactions to that, they're going to be going up in preparation for Season 3, which starts at the beginning of March. So we're double-timing the Mando, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Schitt's Creek, Disney Movie every single Sunday. They all go up once a week. Again, so close to 10,000. I... It, I can't believe it's so close, but help us get there very, very soon, probably before this video even goes up. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, see you in the next video. Peace!